uh, welcome friends so in this video I will basically talk about uh, a new application that I developed which is a video timeline editor which allows you to trim your videos cut your videos right in the browser itself and also you can compress your videos to lower sizes so this is actually the interface in ReactJS that I developed using FFmpg Web WebAssembly library. You can basically upload any extensions of video file, AVI, MP4, MOV. Let me select my input file. As I select this input file, it will show you inside this video player. You can see that now you can play your video file. You can navigate to any portion in this video. So it will basically find out some properties about this video such as the name, size, which is the type of the video. All this information is gathered using the FMPG WebAssembly library, the size of the video, which is 152 megabytes. So all this information is displayed in this application and now comes the trimming part. This is the starting duration you need to provide in this format and the ending duration. So this is, let me want to split the video, the first minute. So I will simply provide here 0, 01. And the starting duration will be the starting of the video and I need to trim the very first minute of the video. So as I provide this end duration which is 01 it represents the 01 minute. And if you just want to trim the video without altering the quality of the video you will select this first option which is trim the video without compressing it. So as I select the first option now it will not re-encode the video it will just trim out the portion that I selected which is the starting duration and the ending duration and there is an option which is convert option if you click this option it will basically do the FFmpg WebAssembly compression or trimming and now you can see that your trimmed video is displayed here and uh, you can play this video the very first minute of the video. Uh, hello guys, welcome to itself. So you can see the very first minute of the video has been cut, trimmed and it is showed in the output video player. Now you can save you this. The size is, you can see that 7 megabytes. This type duration is only 1 minute. Click on save and you can play this video file, saving it inside uh, hello your computer. Guys, welcome to the site. So very simple application guys but yet powerful if you need the full source code guys full source code of this project the link is given in the description you can directly purchase it from my website procodestore.com after you purchase it guys you will actually get this uh, full source code you will get the zip file after you purchase it from google drive automatically you can download that zip file and then uh, extract the portion of the code and this will be the actual directory structure which will come out after you extract it so you can see that in the package.json file we are actually using the ffmpg webassembly library and we are using the react 17 as recording of this video it is compatible with all the versions and uh, these are the actual directory structure different kinds of components are there drag and drop component which is there for actually uploading the file this is for editing the video so each and every component is responsible for its own job for actually carrying out the video editing options so it's a fully timeline editor guys which is developed inside reactions now if you want to reset the option simply click that reset button and again you can select your video let's suppose this time i want to alter the quality of the video so what i will do is that i want to trim the very first portion i will simply say and now instead of uh, trimming it without compressing it i also want to compress the video so what i will see there are various qualities which i mentioned right here guys in youtube also whenever you are watching a youtube video so the video comes in various qualities 480p 180p 320p 480p so all these qualities are mentioned right here 480p 576p 720p 180p so as you increase the quality the con conversion time will take longer so you can see the estimated time as well 5 minutes to 70 megabytes all that stuff if you also want to remove audio from video you can toggle this option and let's suppose i want to select 1080p click on convert so it will now convert your video it will compress it it to 1080p so it will take some longer time guys just wait for a while after it finishes it will actually show the output video to you so it totally depends upon the size of the video guys if you are uploading a larger size video just make sure that you wait here as it is carrying out the conversion process using ffmpg webassembly library 
which uh, technically technically you are actually executing the ffmpg command directly in the browser so that's why it take longer because we are re-encoding the video to a higher quality rate so you can just see in the browser it is uh, doing it step by step you can see 8 seconds have been encoded so once it reaches the full minute it will actually show the output video here so ffmpg webassembly is slightly slow as compared to the ffmpg that you execute directly in the command line but because it is executing it uh, right in the browser so it has some limit limitations as well but yet it's a very powerful tool you can edit your videos directly in the browser without executing without installing ffmpg inside your computer and uh, it's a very good uh, application so So what I will do is that I will trim the just for showing you let's suppose I only want to trim the very first five seconds and here I will sim remove this audio from the video and compress it to 1080p so it will now take faster because it just want to trim the very first uh, five seconds of the video so we are compressing it to 1080p so you can see three seconds have been processed and uh, once it reaches the fifth second it will actually show you the output file you will see the it contains 5 seconds in the output video and the size is 266 kilobytes so the video is successfully compressed it is 1080p you can basically change the quality as well if, if you want to compress this you can select this option 480p so the size original size is 152 megabytes if you want to compress it to a lower quality then you can select 480p so this will actually reduce the size of the video so let's suppose uh, I'll do 480p and I want to compress the first 30 second So you can see in the command line, you can see the log statements of FMPG. It is doing its process. It is showing you the functionality. So once it reaches the full quota of the minutes that we mentioned. Compression is little bit slow guys, but the trimming part is really fast. You just need to mention the starting duration and the ending duration. And depending upon that, it will compress your video. Sorry, trim your video. But for the compression, it takes some time. So just make sure that you wait inside the browser. Just give it ample amount of time to actually compress your video. Because for compression, I already told you it re-encodes re the video. So for re-encoding, it takes some time. So it's a time intensive task because as you know that editing videos take a long of, long, lot of time. As you also use third party softwares, you have used uh, if you want to edit videos to higher quality, it takes some time. So that's why it is taking some time. So, so the link is given guys in the description if you want to purchase this application you will actually get this full javascript code in react.js project which uses ffmpg webassembly library uh, directly in the browser it's a fully offline application it doesn't require internet you can directly execute this in this browser edit your videos trim your videos and also compress your videos so there is no limit of uh, file size you can upload as many as long videos as you can there is no size limit of this application so just make sure that you wait for the processing to take place so once it finishes it will show you the output video so you can see 
it has been compressed to one megabyte and total duration is 30 second you can save this video now 798 uh, hello guys and Java awesome. so now it is you can see the video is slightly degraded because it has been compressed to 480p quality wise so you can see that so if you are interested guys in purchasing this project the link is given in the description you can directly purchase it you will actually get a zip file after you purchase it from procodestore.com the link is given in the description so please hit that like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video